Welcome back, folks. Behind the Badge, Monroe County Sheriff Todd Baxter here in Monroe County, Roch, New York. Uh, partnered up again with uh, Sanders Tisdale, Deputy One Each, Court Bureau, Monroe County Sheriff's Office. How are you, Tis? Uh, doing good, sir. Loving life. Yeah. Loving Why, Steeler cause Sunday? football. Why, because of Sunday? Oh, yeah, You beat course. up on the Rams. I'm, I I'm hyped up, brother. Oh, I'm God. hyped up. You got to control me. <laughs> well, being a Bills fan, you know how I'm feeling today, right? Oh, God. <laughs> That was a bad weekend. We need a recipe. Yeah. We need a recipe for something. I don't know what it is, but I can't figure it out. Well, congratulations. Buffalo wings. Buffalo yeah, wings. That is, that's how you get to everybody going. The beer looks good on you, by the way. Oh, thanks, sir. sir it's dark and lovely. The best that money that can is. buy for five dollars. You know what I mean? You, is that why you cost to comb that? Oh yeah, yeah. Darkness. I, 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 I don't want it. I don't, I don't want it natural. What's called? Natural what do you call it now? Huh? It used to be just for men or something like that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm getting the upper level. The upper level stuff. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of gray. I gotta get out of there. I know it's not that dark. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> it only takes five minutes. How long you been a cop? <laughs> How many grandchildren you got? Twelve. And there's no gray in that beard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling that one. Well, good to have you again, Tiz. Always oh, yeah. a pleasure to have you here, buddy. Uh, talking about recruitment today. Yeah, this is a, this is a, a beautiful topic to talk about. We I spoke offline with these guys, and the thing about it is, this is one thing that's actually needed. There's shortages all over the yeah. place. And that's why we have talented individuals coming in and doing things like this, Sheriff. So. Yeah, you know, I just came back from the International Association of Chiefs of Police meeting. There was uh, 16,000 chief executives from across wow. the world at a meeting, right? And, and the number one issue, not just the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, not just the Rochester Police Department, not the Ryan Akoy, Greece, wherever. Number one issue across America is recruitment and retention of law enforcement officers, police officers. It's hard times. Uh, it's an incredible hard time. And, and that's why we have a recruitment team. That's why we get innovative deputies that come in and, and try and push that envelope forward. And that's who we're talking to today. So with no further ado, we talked about ourselves just a bit. But, Jacob, how about just a quick introduction of yourself, who you are, what you do off duty. This is behind the badge. So a yeah. little behind the, who's that badge? Yeah. So I'm Deputy Jacob Van Sloten. Uh, I've been on the road patrol for about five years. I started in the jail back in 2017. Um, other than that, I have some hobbies of fitness, running, working out spending time with my family my pets i do a lot of reef keeping so i grow coral i mm. i trade that and oh, you trade it huh? yeah. yeah so if some someone has a piece of coral i don't have and i have something they want we'll set up in a trade and arrangement and it's a fun little hobby wow i never yeah. heard that one yeah. it's <laughs> unique it's, it's definitely uh, unique i actually had a uh, captain Faye and myself actually had a, a little tank out in b zone for a little bit really yep and then uh joey pinto he overfed the fish and had a lot of algae growing, and we just called it quits. To called get it down. quits, huh? Yep, and we moved on. Because OSHA called me and said something about some contaminated <laughs> yeah. area in, Fish abuse. in this yeah. zone <laughs> office. Um, I love detailing cars, boats. I've built a few with my father, uh, going to car shows, stuff like That's that. Awesome. Yep. Well, thanks for sharing. And Sarah? I'm Deputy Sarah Schreiner. I have 17 years inside the jail, all 17 of them. Um, I have a husband who's a lieutenant on the 3 to 11 shift and our daughter who keeps us very busy Absolutely. with sports um, and extracurricular activities and stuff. I try my best to help out at her school um, with after school events and things I got going on in the classroom. I'm a classroom mom oh. um, so that she keeps us on our toes. Um, you know, when we're not busy with her, we like to travel. Winter time's coming up. Hopefully we'll get some snow this winter so we can do some skiing and snowmobiling um, just to kind of, you know, That's get great. through the wintertime yeah. blues because the yeah, you got to have full something, of it. Right? Yeah, it gets gray really quick and stays a long time. Now, uh, let me ask you guys. Now, you guys, like we said, there are shortages, like we said, all over the place. And, you know, it affects all, all aspects of law enforcement. But you guys, you guys are, are new to, the, to recruitment. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what what goes into recruitment so what's some of the aspects that you guys face yeah no it's uh reaching the, the public and finding the, the candidates that we want that want to do this job um i've heard the, the sheriff say multiple times this we do this job as a passion we had a natural calling to do this um and getting that word out just so we can find those people that have that calling and can't make that calling into a career yet so that's who we want to reach out to that's who we want to talk to uh, and trying you, to find those dedicated yeah. people that are motivated mm -hmm. to have a career and not just, you know, job jump, yeah. um, you know. And, it, and it's so easy to do that, like job jump. If I'm not happy, I can go find something else to do. You want to make a career for yourself, and this is not where you're going to job jump. This is where you're going to stay, do your 20, 
30 years right. and have a pension, you know, and be fulfilled. And that's a key point, you know, fulfillment of this job. You, you could job jump all day long. You can even jump from law enforcement agency to agency. Uh, you know, are you motivated to do this job? And this job is a calling. Uh, if not, you're going to be miserable. 100%. It's, it's really difficult no matter where you work. Uh, but is it that calling for you? Do you want to serve other people? Mm -hmm. I mean, 90% of what we do in the jail or on the road is, yeah. you know, so in the court. Oh, you're community. serving. Yeah, you're yeah. serving the community. Yep. Yeah. You know, it's being part of the community and wanting to be involved oh, yeah, with, of course. you know, Right. civilians and staff members and obviously inside the jail the incarcerated individuals that right. are coming in and stuff and you know trying to maybe put them on the right path and being there for them during their mm -hmm. lowest times mm -hmm. um is something to strive for so what, what do you what do you what do you think is the biggest pressures uh with recruitment when, and when i say that you know what i mean like you try to get more into the to the city or more into the you know the outer outer areas as well but what do you think are some of the, the biggest problems that you face in the recruitment, though, in that aspect? A lot of it is, oh, that sounds great. But yep. you don't have everything right there so they can sign up, get it up. It's a great idea right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. but two months, three months, four months, when they're starting to go through the process, they're like, maybe, maybe I don't want to do this. The background's a lot, the psych's a lot, being physically fit, all of that, you know, together is a task. You know, you really want it to to push forward through it. You know, I can go to a, some local shop and get a job and I can start working next weekend. Here there's a process you have to be vetted and go through so that that can be a deterrent, but it's a needed, you know, step to get done and start your career. Coming to this job, how long you guys been in the seats now? Three I, weeks. A week for me. <laughs> That's good. Wow. That's what we like. Yeah. Wow. I just, I just said, no, we have a lieutenant new up here in the sixth floor, and I said, we want your new ideas. We want your innovation. We want mm -hmm. your – don't think like we think. So please put your own stamp on this on this job. Uh, we already talked about the challenge. You know, every law enforcement agency yeah. across America is having the same challenge. It is. It's not just us. I mean, any agency you talk to yeah. in this state, it's another state, is – Trying to find people to come and yeah. work for them and to keep people, all down, of that. Driving um, down Union Street and where was it? It was in Chile. I said Union Street. Two huge corporations with those big waving flags out front. We're hiring, we're hiring. So it's not just mm -hmm. us either. No, it seems not. like everybody's looking for good employees. And I don't know. Sometimes it baffles me because, and, and I know a lot of other things playing to a sheriff is the fact of, you know, things that happen that people have a different perception of, of law enforcement sure. or have a different perception of this or that. But once you get inside and you learn the other aspect of it, you know, the, the familyness that we have with each other. or well, That's like a big a, thing, forming those brother and sisterhoods that you don't get in a normal nine to five job. Mm -hmm. um, I think really, you know, helps someone in this career and having something like this is knowing that you, you know, you, someone's got your back. Um, friends that turn into family right. and, you know, kind of forming that bond with so many different people. So what's your number as you look from right now? What, what's innovative? What, what, what do you, what's your perspective? You're only a week into it. That's what I like. So what? What are you, you going to do with that? I mean, what, have you thought of something like, I, I, I want to push this one idea. We got to do something a little different. And have you had a chance to think about any of those things? Like what, what would be innovative to go grab people, get them engaged, like you said? And, 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 but then more importantly, to keep them engaged for a long process. Have you thought about it? It is a long things? process. Um, I think really like maybe getting out there and, you know, showing them like what the job has to offer. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got great medical benefits and we have a pension and we have, you know, vacation and personal days and things that a lot of other jobs can't, mm -hmm. you know, provide for them, which I know some younger kids don't look that far down the line, where maybe someone who's older has, you know, the experience and stuff and is like, hey, like, I need that in my life. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of, I feel like, engaging with our community more to kind of give them the in look of what this job really has to good offer point, point. and not to f have one of these bounce around jobs, like come and, you know, find your home, dig your heels in and put in the work to have a career that's going to provide for you and your family. Well, like you also said, retirement, you know, and there's a lot of, a lot of jobs out there that don't offer okay, it or don't have true. it. Or for God's sake, you, right. you got to do it yourself, you know, more or less. And you, and now, and you have this aspect, this, this vehicle right here that will help aid you into getting to a, a retirement, you know, something that you'll be proud of, something when, like you said, when you walk the streets or you, or when you go you go down the 
the process of becoming into the sheriff's office or, the, or becoming a deputy, becoming a jailer, whatever. It's the fact of you you got to have quality people in there. Mm-hmm. And that's why they, they, we rely heavily on guys like yourselves. And, I mean, like I said, you guys are, you know, an integral uh, you know, component to this whole situation with the sheriff's department. Yeah, without it, we're, uh, you know, that's that's one aspect, you know, building the bench and, and developing our, our future uh, recruitment's one aspect, but I, I even go further back in the in the supply chain, if you will. You know, what are we doing with our cadets? What are we doing with our teen police academies? How are we engaging people young to make them think about this career and then keep them yeah. hooked, right? In jail, you're lucky to hire at 19. That's that's an incredible opportunity. Mm-hmm. Although it makes a young person with a gun and a badge, right? But it is young. so it there's is a way. Young, yeah. There's there's a benefit to it, and there's also something we got to manage through. But if you can get someone hooked on a career at 19. I just got to think of the long run, like at 45, I'm going to be retired. I can start a whole other career if I want. Yeah, or spend time with the kids or do whatever, you you know, take care of an elderly, you know. Do all those things that you wouldn't be able to do when you're working a job that you got to do, you know, 30, 55, 65, yeah, yeah. years old that, you know, you can't just be like, you know, I put my time in here. You can, you know, start young, you know, you do your 20, 25 or 30 years, depending on what bureau you're part of. Yeah. um, I'm only told. And look back and be like, man, like I did all my time and I'm I'm young still. Right. Right. Yeah. Now, what, what Jacob, how old you say you were? Oh. I'm 32. Oh, I thought you said something different. I'm like, what? I don't like that. Really. No, no, I did too. I'm like, he's <laughs> talking about the retirement. If I could go back to time, right? Against the law. <laughs> <laughs> I just unhired you. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. Real quick. Sorry, your first recruit will be. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Where do I sign? I thought he said 20. Or no, she was 20. talking about the retirement. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You could start it. Yeah. You know, police Bureau is 20, 20 and then 21, but we can yeah. hire you at 20 in the, in the yeah. police bureau. And yeah, there's there's great opportunities to grab people young, but I like what you said, sir. There's people out there, you know, 33, 34, they're not too sure it's still what they're doing mm-hmm. with their life. They don't have a pension. They're putting money in a 401k that might have tanked the last quarter. You know, yeah, what we got is looking to be like, pension. what am I going to do? Right. Right. Like, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, so we got to keep Whether an eye on fa- At that age, folks, most people probably most married a or a family right. of some sort, kind of like, I need to be secure for them. Yeah. What more of a secure job can you have than law enforcement? Right, yeah. I mean, you're we're always needed. Yeah, we're always mm-hmm. needed and we're expanding. You know, believe it or not, the sheriff's office is expanding in size. We haven't downsized one nope. bit. We've actually all. increased. So uh, that's great. And then the morphing of the bureaus, we can get into that. People wouldn't really understand it. But, yeah. you know, pretty soon there will be – in the jail is as an option to be another hundred positions for jail deputies to work in the court bureau, right? right? Yeah. And and you know get out of the jail for five years. And same thing, the road patrol or morphing the uh, civil bureau into the road, another ten positions to do a different type of police work, mm-hmm. right? Just to give you a variety. And that's uh, the thing is it's like you're, huge you're, you're part. Yeah. able to have that variety right. in those you know you know. Right now, I don't want to be in here. I'm going to go this route in my career. Yeah, yeah. The advancements that you can come across, not only for different areas within the bureaus, mm-hmm. like you were stating, the jail and the courts merging into one, um, and the road and mm-hmm. the civil kind of merging into one, um, but that and any promotional things. Right. There's so many opportunities to take your yeah, career. Yeah. Yeah. You're not oh, making yeah. widgets yeah. on an assembly line for the rest of your life, nope. which may be yeah. someone's personality, and that's perfectly fine. Sure. My father did it die cast for 32 mm-hmm. years at Ooh. Rochester Products, oh, but yeah. and it was his personality. Uh, but other people that want a variety and you know can't yeah. sit still, and this is a great and, job for me. Yeah, exactly. uh, <laughs> it's always on the move. <laughs> yeah. We're always doing yeah. something different. So, I mean, like, even to expound on that, like, when I push a car, I will still go to tech jobs. So right. I'll go to crime scenes. I'll go to, you know, unattended deaths and try figuring out what happened. In addition to that, there's special teams. You have SWAT, DRT, you do, and there's so much variety that you can change it up, you know, and it's not the nine to five, you know, you're, you're going to different things. You're responding to medical calls, larcenies, family issues. different. Even though it's everything. the same, yeah. it's different. Yeah. It's you such a cliche, cliche spot every day, same, right? same, but right. it really is. Every it day is. is different. You know, I'm not on an assembly line. Right. Yeah. How does it monthly go, like, for, for the recruitment? I mean, to, to where somebody can say, well, you know what, they, they're hitting schools a certain month mm-hmm. or they're hitting uh, the malls a cer- certain month. I mean, is there, like, a, a game plan of how you guys do it for the recruitment? From what I can see in the three weeks I've been there, it kind of changes with the seasons. So when colleges are in session, when they're not, you know, you're going to go to colleges when there's more kids on campus. When they're in su- session, you can go speak to the class. Uh, more in particular, like criminal justice majors and stuff. Right. You know, that's where we're going to try hitting our focus. Um, I mean, so many tests a year now. I mean, the yeah. jail ourselves 
is just continuous testing. Yeah. We're trying to hire as many people as we can right now to fill these vacancies. Mm -hmm. And when you have, you know, going from one test a year per bureau to four, to four I mean, it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of yep. manpower That's for, you know, mm -hmm. just two people to handle trying to get all their recruitment, you know, out there to these colleges or to these job right. fairs, um, to these local high schools, maybe for seniors and stuff like that. Um, yeah, senior can graduate and come right, right it, to us when he's 19 yeah. or she's 19. But our wor the working. workload is, you know, so much yeah. for two people, you know, bouncing those ideas back right. and forth to kind of, all right, what are we going to do this month? We have the jail test, which is the big thing right now right. coming up, the T&E. &E. Um, pushing that, like, what can we do? Who do we need to go see? Who do we need to reach out to? Um, you know, putting the word out to our friends and our family. Mm -hmm. and Word um, of mouth is huge. Yeah. Our, our research clearly shows word of mouth is the mm -hmm. best way. And we're trying to incentivize our, you know, our deputies to be that word of mouth, maybe even with some financial considerations in the future or something. We're, yeah. we're always thinking about that. But, you know, you mentioned the T&E. Let me just explain that real quick to the, to the audience. So it's an open evaluation, if you will. It's a resume, mm -hmm. online resume for 30 days. Traditionally, if you want to take a police exam, you'd have to schedule it a couple months out, sit down some Saturday at some local college or some fire hall, and hopefully you were available that Saturday. You didn't have child care issues, didn't have transportation issues, yeah. right? Didn't have military issues. And you take this test and you wait another six months for it to come back, scratching your head, did I pass, fail, how high am I going to be on the list? And then once that test pops out of Albany six months later, I'm being sarcastic here because that's the truth. <laughs> you know, and, then, and then we start the whole background process, right, which is another six months. And then we wait for Academy to open up. Uh, again, I just came from, uh, studied some research that shows that, you know, this is employees in general. If you don't hook them, and hire them within two months. This is in, this is in general, they're gone to they're another gone. company. Yeah. Right? Like two months. Like we're talking eighteen months. You guys got a lot of work, mm -hmm. not only to get them through the door, but also to engage them the, through that whole that, process. Right. Yeah, that turnaround time is, I you know, <clears throat> it's huge. huge but the T and E, the T and E gave us something that we've been begging for. I've been to Albany multiple times, uh, pushing for an open exam process, a continuous exam mm -hmm. process. That was just once a year. Now we're doing a four-time. I know it's a lot of work, but, and then it's also an evaluation of who you are as a person. It's not a guess, a guess test, a test, right? You right. sit down and you're, you take this test yeah. and you're like, guess what? Right. It's, it's who you, you know, are. We're, we're evaluating who you are. Just mark all the C's down. No. Yeah, <laughs> but, but do you have what we're looking for, right? We, we can now articulate that you have the skill sets yeah. we're looking for. You talk about recruitment at college campuses. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm going to burst your bubble early. I think that's not the best place to recruit sure. from the standpoint. Those guys are and gals want to be cops, right? They're at the criminal justice yeah. program. They're interested. I'd rather go to the nonprofits, right? And knock mm -hmm. on some doors going, how much are you earning over here at the nonprofit? No, no offense to our friends, yeah. right? Uh, going to the, the Kodaks that are, you know, might be laying people off mm -hmm. with the other business and grab them 30 something year olds. And, you know, yeah. so Pulling these are, it. it's so exciting. Especially I know a I lot feel of like, work, but you know, this T&E gives them 30 days to take a test. We've yeah. opened that door yeah. up. For and one you're not day. sitting there stressing about studying for a test. Right. You're not sitting and be like, oh, did I, you know, how do I need to answer this? Like, it's at your leisure. Right. You can sit at home. You can mm -hmm. fill this out, log take on, your time, log off, submit log back it. On. And, you know, right now it's about a, a two month turnaround. Yeah. Um, obviously, to get we would like it to be quicker. Yeah. If it could be quicker, so we can, you know, grab these people and be like, hey, you did your T&E. This is what our scores are. Let's get the process started. Let's get. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, start practicing for your PT test, and then you're, we're going to get you signed up for your psych and your medical, and hopefully by then have your background packet, you know, handed in so that we can get people hired quickly, right. and they're not thinking of other routes, other aspects oh, yeah. out of it, or I'm not interested anymore. No, because if they're they have good character, they got good work ethic, I think there's about a thousand other organizations looking at them too, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, those are the skill sets we're looking for as plain as can be you know give me character give me work ethic that's yeah. all i really want but like she said but the you put in the other aspect of you know retirement you know the, the a lot of other places don't don't have that you know because no. i know i know i got some good friends out there they they make decent money with other companies but, but you're paying you're, into your retirement right or, or you, you know, ask them well when do you plan on when are you going to retire and he's like well i, I don't, don't know, know. They don't I'll, have, I'll, yeah. I'll be here till i'm like 80. <laughs> right, right. They don't exactly. have an end date. Yeah. Right. No end. It's no end. Right. At a least a job it. here, you know, you ha you know term. your your end date. Yeah, it's a good term. You pick an end date, like you said, you're young enough, especially with the recruitment of, of, at an early age, you're young enough to get in there to get into something else. And and that's that's huge. And to me that that's a huge recruitment vehicle and, and like you said, I like some of the other places that you were talking about. That's phenomenal. These are guys that 
you know. Well, they know not service. knocking anybody else. They're serving every other, they're serving other people in the population. That's what we do for a living. Right, right. You know, we right. serve other people. We we protect the vulnerable. And we serve other people. That's what really what we do. Even in the jail, you're protecting the vulnerable. I've been in that place and seen mm-hmm. that one inmate can intimidate and even beat up another inmate before you guys can get there yep. and, and take care of it. I mean, oh, yeah. so they're vulnerable, right? They're even Very vulnerable in the backseat of a police vulnerable. car. When we put them in custody, yeah. they became vulnerable, right? Correct. And so we're here to protect everybody, but that's a great job calling. I think one of the things that we miss in law enforcement is really telling the story. I know we, we do great videos, and I love these, uh, but, you know, we show SWAT teams and SRT teams doing their job and all that. And that's that's, but that's really ten percent of the job. That's really mm-hmm. you know a small percent. What what really is ninety percent of the job is talking to people, helping oh, people, yeah. building you know, those rapports with people. Don't get that in a lot of other jobs. So that you know, yeah. you can do your job yeah. and you know, gain. But that why is so important. You're literally saving and changing lives for mm-hmm. a living, right? And then you do the SRTs and you know, yeah. I was a SWAT guy for nineteen years. So not diminishing that, but you know, we don't do that very often. We practice no. to make sure we're skilled set to do it, but yeah. you know. You're changing lives for a living. You're you're helping people that are just in turmoil in their lives. That's mm-hmm. that's a job calling that we got to sell more to the public. Like, yeah. why would I want to become a cop nowadays? Yeah, and then you get the affirmation at the end of that right. too. So, say they do sleep, help somebody, and you run into them six months a year later, yeah. and they're like, "You really saved my life, or you did this for me." And, it, and it's no BS. That yeah, is literally. It, I, I don't know if you can find that in a lot of other jobs. You literally change and save lives, yeah. and, and and with that comes a whole lot of heartache. Mm-hmm. It comes a lot of you know being burned by bad guys, right? Oh, it comes yeah. with, right. it comes with bad guys throwing stuff at you and, yeah. and kicking you, uh, but that's part of the job description, yeah. right? That's the that's the environment we go into. But at the end of the day, if you think about it, you reflect upon it. We literally change lives, and we we protect the vulnerable, and that's why we put on this uniform. Yeah, you know that's that's You're not wrong. There's not a lot of careers that can say that. And I love it because uh, if you're looking at the website up there as well. You know, there's different avenues of trying to apply for positions here with the yeah. sheriff's department, and that and that's huge. You know, and we've got our websites. You know, you're going to see banners mm-hmm. and flyers. You're driving down 390. You're looking at the billboards with our ads on there, just trying to you know, grasp the attention, even if it's just one person who sees it. Right. Right. How do we get? Uh, and I know you guys three weeks in, one weekend. Yeah. But again, I love the innovation. I love the new ideas. Uh, so maybe I'm just playing to see with you, but. You know, through this engagement process, engaging the families of the potential hires, right? You know, getting them involved in the stories, mm-hmm. uh, looking for innovative things that may help you out with recruitment. And I know you're not so much responsible for retention. That's more of my job. But, you know, how do we retain good employees? Things like uh, mm-hmm. I was talking today in the all bureaus meeting, the, uh, uh, a daycare center. You know, we, we've, yeah. we've got a couple of deputies that might be married to other deputies. I'm not selling right. anybody out in particular. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> but with that, I'm sure yeah. when you switch to day shift and, and, your, and your husband is on a 3 to 11 shift, right? I've brought what, that up several yeah, times. Yeah, so yeah, wouldn't it be great if, that, yeah. if we're going to invest in our people and invest in our organization, maybe it's time to sit down and research, do we provide our own daycare? Because we know daycare is difficult. We know it's expensive. Maybe that's a benefit we look at yeah. as opposed might to you, a pay raise or something. We look at do we take care of our families so they can work longer for us, that type of thing. So that's the innovation I'm looking of, for, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Finding things to help, you know, your employees. They want to feel like, you know, they're being look, helped with and looked right. at. And difficulties like that with daycare and stuff, uh, like that's probably for people that have children, like a huge yeah, yeah. struggle. You're is going to have a sense of belonging here no matter what. You know, like she said earlier, it's a family. It's yeah. a brotherhood. Obviously, and pay. Everybody and wants to be paid more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it might not. It, and again, if you provide daycare, and but, yeah. you are providing them. You're, that's yeah. a financial consideration as everybody at this table probably knows. If you got kids, it's a very expensive proposition, oh, daycare. Or you're worried is. who you're leaving your child with. Can you mm-hmm. imagine if we. I'm just throwing that out as a, a crazy idea that we should probably explore mm-hmm. crazy ideas. Well, because yeah, you have to. You have it's to, the number one like, thing in America. What are people looking for? Mm-hmm. Like, exactly. When you're thinking of, you know, leaving, right. there's always something that's right. pushing mm-hmm. why you're thinking of looking at another job. Why? Right. Why are you doing mm-hmm. that? Yeah. What can what can we do to help you? Right. You know, be like, mm-hmm. okay, this is worth staying. Yeah, it's worth staying. You know, and, I, and, I need and this. And the why of the job, this. I mentioned that, yeah. but you know, and it's a family, but you got to be considerate of real world issues too, and daycare is yeah. one of them. That's just one. You know, but why not explore that, right? Why yeah. not explore different ways that you guys can recruit? Why not send you on an airplane down to Fort Bragg? Or, or Fort Freedom, I think we're calling it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I lose track of all the name changes. But you know what I'm saying? With, so that's what I'm looking for, you guys. Just be innovative. Push the envelope. Think of new ideas. And maybe it's even on the retention side, again, which is my job description, not yeah. yours. But I feel like now there's just no boundaries with recruitment. Exactly. Like, there really isn't. No. You just got to push the limits now yeah. and just, you know, get out there. Whether Again, locally, mm-hmm. statewide, nationwide, to get out there and yeah. just be like, hey, here we are. 
we're hiring, we want you here. We want people that are, again, I'll mm -hmm. say it again, like dedicated and motivated individuals that, you know, feel like they belong yep. in this field, in this career. And they don't know unless you actually sh expose them to yep. it, right? It's hard to, especially in the last couple of years watching, you know, oh. the evening news and you're like, oh, I'm not too sure I want to do that for a living, you know? Well, yeah, and that, you know what, and that's one good thing what I'm uh, actually, and I can speak on my own accord is that I'm glad that the sheriff had put a lot of energy into the wellness type uh, oh, you know, huge. build of, of the sheriff's mm -hmm. department because you do, you get that. And a lot of people who, who want to come in and say, well, when I come in, you know, I'll get burnt out. I can't do this. I can't do that. And, you know, do I partake of everything that wellness offers? No, of course I don't. But I know it's there. It's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And so that's huge. And, and that, that's a great factor that helps with retention of, of your yeah. employees, help, help your, your, put the mindset of your employees in a different space. Especially nowadays, like there's so many outside stressors. Right. And social you know, media, the world is stressful. Oh, something yeah. at work the that news. you know you can go to or that you have right. like that out mm -hmm. look on and you know yeah. the outlet I should say um, is good to have. So I will you know piggyback off of your wellness. It's a great yeah. tool for our oh, bureaus yeah. and I feel like our staff members and everybody to kind of. I mean, again, uh, just uh, I've been doing a lot of study and reading lately. You know, I love this, and I sent that to Dr. Butler as soon as I, I heard it. I was like, so you can talk about uh, mental health or mental wellness, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, mental health is it's almost like you have it or not. I'm healthier or not, right? But, you know, the wellness part of it is you're continuously working on it. You know, it's just like a bicep muscle or a cardiovascular oh, yeah. endurance, right? Some Either you're working on it, it's getting better, or you're not yeah. working on it, it's getting worse, right? Same yeah. thing with, in particular, our job, which is, you know, a lot of negative stuff occurs around oh, law yes. enforcement because mm -hmm. that's what we do for a living. You work in the jail, it's a lot of negative. You work on the road, it's a lot of negative. You work in the court, you're dealing with family court and judges mm -hmm. and, you know, you're dealing with juries. And so let's just make it part of our wellness program, right? It's not, it's not either you have it or you don't. It's just something we're always working on, just like our cardiovascular endurance. It's just part of the process. And, yep. and, uh, and looking at it from that standpoint, I thought it was a great analogy. So it's a big job. Uh, yeah. Thank you for uh, yeah. stepping up Absolutely. And, and taking us this, this, as you probably already heard, I don't, I, there's not a lot of forgiveness for the sheriff. I'm, I'm pushing the envelope all the time because I've told it, and I hope that you now you realize it, that, you know, there's no greater burden on us right now than to fill the ranks. Yes. And I've been saying it that is. for a couple of years, uh, and we won't stop pushing that envelope. But I also have to provide what you guys need. So what I'll make for the fourth time today, be innovative, be pushing the envelope, Absolutely. be asking for stuff. We'll Let be me say coming no at you once with a lot of ideas. Yeah. <laughs> once in a while, I'll say no. But, you know, if this is our most important okay. thing, then we got to put our time, energy, and money where, the, you know, where our mouth mm -hmm. is. And I look forward to working with Jake and, yeah. you know, well, you worked collaborating. Long, so. I'll ask you another yeah. couple yeah. years. Of, collaborating yeah. your ideas to really... Uh, <laughs> Give her a week. No. Yeah. Give her a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, so awesome having you guys. We finished this uh, this podcast up with a thing called the No Miranda Song. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're familiar with Miranda? You have a right to remain silent? Uh, okay. No Miranda means you don't have a right to remain silent. I'm the sheriff. You're subordinate. you got to okay. answer questions. <laughs> and I delegate my authority to Tisdale for the oh. first question. All right. First question. Out of the box. Favorite TV show of all time? Game of Thrones. Wow. wow he named that quick. Wow. There's no <laughs> <hesitation. laughs> I was going to say Bluey, but that's really not ah, All right. <laughs> all right. We watch Bluey, too. All right. Go, Danny. Danny, go. What's that one? That was the dancing yesterday. You've seen it on the video tape. I've never seen it. Oh, i got a two-and-a-half-year-old granddaughter. We'll watch My son's it later. Too. Yeah. We'll watch it later. Yeah, okay. I can't believe these people are making money off this. Like, I can't yeah. do this in my living room yeah. with my granddaughter. Okay. Or the toy yeah. reviews. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. So going on vacation, where would it be? Number one choice. No money is an option. Oh, St. Lucia. I've been, but I'd like to go right. back again. Go back? Yeah. I, I'd almost second that one. Gorgeous See? island. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably go to Bali. Really? Yeah, uh, scuba dive. All right. Oh, yeah, the coral. Mm -hmm. yeah. Coral. Coral in the office. And I'm certified, so. Just as a scuba go. diver? Yep. Okay, just yep. checking. Like as it. a coral. I, no. I'm not. <laughs> as a coral. I'm not certified <laughs> as a coral. <laughs> hey, I got a law enforcement question for you. Okay. What's your favorite donut? Oh, <laughs> all right. So rich, rich donut, rich donut, hand cut glazed. Really? Ooh. Yeah. 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 I, my same thing for me. I, I do like a rich donut. I, I'm mm. a blueberry girl. Oh, those are good. Really? Blueberry yeah. donuts. I can see a bagel, but not a donut. Yeah, the blueberry fry cake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or Tim Horton says the sour cake. cream blueberry donuts. I'm glad you went to another yeah. organization there too, because I was going to get in trouble for no, sponsoring uh, uh, <laughs> rich donuts. There's a new donuts, place so. in Henrietta called. Uh, we had it the other day. Harvest Grains. Uh, yep. There you go. Um, is that Harvest Grains? 
I or golden it. it's Har- golden harvest golden harvest yep. family owned these guys know way place. too much about this <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow. that's a good question great bakery don't ask cops about donuts <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the stereotype was really fulfilled yeah. <laughs> yeah. i think that was before yes, i anyway. even became a, sh- a right. cop that i was into donuts so oh, really yeah. <laughs> Donut girl. Well, you could be in the coral, so yeah. we'll call it. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. At least I don't have a I never do that in my <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Favorite football team? Dolphins. Oh, wow. Uh, 72. Yeah. Buffalo. That's the point. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That's, you guys are going to get along, huh? Oh, it's... Yeah. Twice a year, you won't. Twi- we'll yeah. just yeah. give you that. Yeah, yeah, right. January 7th will be January a rough 7th. day, but it's okay. I'm not coming into work. Not coming <laughs> <laughs> you already came it's to all loss. Pearl Harbor and... <laughs> Pearl Harbors and the Dolphins and the Bills are playing. Oh my God. <laughs> it was January 7th. I thought you said December 7th. No, January 7th. All right, good. Thank God. After uh, the New Year. Yeah. Well, first of all, like, like I said, uh, thanks for stepping up to the plate, doing a very difficult job in law enforcement that's called recruiting. Please be encouraged that this is occurring everywhere in America. Yeah. It's not just our problem, but uh, your benefit is you're young, innovative, and you got a command staff, I think, that's 100% behind what do you need to fill these ranks. So keep on pushing it. Well. Thanks for what you do. Thanks for what you do behind the badge. Appreciate yeah. you guys. Well, thank, thank you. you. Sure. Appreciate you having Thank us you. on here today. Yeah. Till next week, folks, be safe, please. Yeah.